experience really is the best teacher. Sharon Hornell's from here. What's she up to now? Day 1,133, documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar world, the real world of business uh, in corporate America to the online world of business. After my divorce, I had the opportunity to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I had to um, divest myself of all of our assets as a couple and separate all that and get rid of all that. And I decided that it was time for a clean break and a new change, a new uh, direction for me and for my life. And I had always been curious about the online world. I always been curious about the internet. And I peeked in a couple of times during my, my corporate and my business running, but I really never took the massive jump and leap into the online world. I had other things going on and other responsibilities. And I just thought the timing wasn't right. Well, after my divorce, I thought, heck, I'm old, too old to go back to doing what I was doing. And I really don't want to. I've, I've been there, done that. What do I want to do now? And since I'd been curious about the internet, I decided I would hop into the online world. So I hopped in. I, I didn't I honestly admit, I didn't do much searching. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I was looking for a structured approach to how I wanted to enter because my goal was to duplicate my offline corporate success in the online world. And I'm still working on it. It's 2021 and I'm still working on it. I've been here since 2017. I joined ClickFunnels, the certified partner program, became a certified partner in like three months and then had some health challenges that messed me up for several months. But I still was dabbling and doing things and, and applying some of the lessons that I'd learned and, you know, creating some funnels and doing some things, doing some things, I will say the absolute positive wrong way but the way that we were taught to do things, right? And often, and this is why I say, experience is the, the absolute positive best teacher, at least in my experience, because it isn't until we actually get out and do things and test things and try them and tweak them and figure out how we fit with them. Any tool, any software, any uh, business, anything, we have to make it our own. And until we make it our own and we take action toward making it our own, which involves action, nothing happens. We don't, until we experience it, till we act, till we do something, till we move, nothing happens. And that was true uh, in the online world with me and with, uh, with everything, actually, everything I've ever learned, every lesson I've ever learned has come from being curious about something, looking into it. And then actually taking action to do or test or try or get experience in that thing. So many people t learn something and then they teach it. They never actually do it. So they skip that all important trial and error and really understanding and making it their own phase of the thing that they're sharing with other people. And you start to be able to spot that. And it's it's kind of frustrating when you, when you hire, and I've done this, I've hired coaches and gurus for expensive big high ticket amounts only to find out that the thing that they're teaching me they've never actually done they haven't done it in their own life they haven't done it in other people's lives although they presented it as if they had done it in other people's life and it's really frustrating and um, I, I decided a long time ago I was never going to be that person so if I'm teaching something it's because I have probably experienced it in a lot of different ways and I've learned the lesson. I don't want to share lessons that are just theoretical or that I haven't actually tried or done myself. Are, could I? Sure. I, I study a lot of stuff. I read a lot of stuff. I go to a lot of, I, I experience a lot of trainings and education and things, but I don't teach people those things until I actually have tried and figured out what works for me. For example, webinars or uh, any other modality challenges. I teach people about challenges because I've done literally thousands of them. Thousands, not just one or two online to market my product or service, literally thousands of them in every area and aspect of my life. I'm always doing challenges. I've got, uh, I'm doing a health challenge right now, which I, I'm struggling with, I admit it. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to share that, that journey online or do I want to figure it out as I go along? because I've shared a lot about challenges and how you do them and what works and what doesn't uh, since I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of them with myself and with other people as well. So that's an area that I am perfectly comfortable talking about all day long, all night long, all week long, or all year long if people want to. But there's other things like that I I just am not. Now I am I am a certified ClickFunnels partner. I. I can build funnels. I have hundreds of them 
in my ClickFunnels account, but I don't build them for other people. Why? Because I, I don't want to, number one, but number two, I, I haven't chosen to practice that and do that to the extent where I feel confident and comfortable going out and building funnels for other people. Will I share some of the funnels I built myself if people want them? Absolutely. But am I going to let people pay me to build funnels for them? No. Number one, because I'm not interested in it. Number two, because I have not gone out and done that and practiced that. I never joined ClickFunnels because I wanted to be an agency owner. And that's, that's kind of how the ClickFunnels certification was was marketed and sold as, hey, if you want to make money helping other people do funnels, become a certified partner. Well, I had just left my, you know, I was divorced, just sold my last business and was looking to do something different. And I'm like, okay, well, this looks like a good way to understand a cool piece of software that I can use online to, to build my businesses and my family's businesses. So that's why I took the course and learned it. And I never wanted to be a funnel builder. Could I figure it out? Could I practice? Could I do it for free for people for a while? And then and then sell that as a service? Yes. However, I have no desire. I'm also legally blind. So who's going to hire a legally blind funnel builder to build their funnels for them? I wouldn't. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't unless I had a great team, which I could build a team of people to do that. But again, I zero interest in doing that. So we follow what we're interested in and we, we our curiosity, we explore it, we test it and, and poke our dip our toe in the water to find out what works for us and what we're really interested in and what direction we want to go with things. And then we actually do and try and experiment. We always need to be our own first science experiment to learn and create what it is that we're here to share with the world before we share stuff with the world. Just my opinion. I'm sure it's controversial. Other people would say, hey, I got this certification in life coaching from XYZ Life Coaching Institute. Now I'm a, a certified life coach. Therefore, I can coach other people on their lives. Now, it doesn't matter that my life is a mess and that I've never even applied anything I've learned to my own life. I can teach it to you. And I just, that rubs me the wrong way. I, I think it's, it's not being in high integrity. And again, just my personal opinion. So I believe experience is the best teacher. Love to know your take on that. How do you think, do you think I'm crazy and that it isn't your best teacher and that trial and error is not a great way to learn things? I agree, trial and error on everything is not a quick, great way to learn things. I still contend it's the best way for each of us individually to learn and really own what we learn. But I, I hire coaches all the time and I study things all the time to help me learn faster so I can make progress when I know what I want so I can make progress toward my end result much faster. Uh, so I'm not, a, I'm, I'm totally into coaches and, and coaching and masterminds and everything, but I think that anybody can teach you their system. It's up to you to make it your own, to actually take action on the things that they teach you. There are infinite ways to become successful and to achieve anything that you want in life. And Millions of people have already done it. Billions of people have already done it. They've survived and lived through their lives and, and had, had happy lives and created what they wanted. But their exact path won't be your exact path. And we need to embrace our journey. Our journey is why we're here. Our journey is uh, the reason that we exist. And our experiences are what make up our journey. So that's my diet. My uh, ranting for today is about experience being the best teacher, primarily because I forgot to talk about it in our Super Size Your Business idiom. Our, we're doing Proverbs for the first 100 days of 2021. And today was hindsight is 2020. Now, I personally, being of almost no vision, love anything that has to do with sight or seeing. I'm very attracted to it. And hindsight is one of my, hindsight is 2020 is one of my favorite expressions. I've said it probably hundreds if not thousands of times in my life, if not to other people, to myself, reminding myself that, yeah, if I would have known what I should have done, or if I would have known what I do now, based on this experience I just lived through, I would have done these things differently. And that to me is learning the lesson from the experiences that we have. And I wanted to talk about experience being the best teacher in that, and I totally forgot to. Because I can't see anything to, to prompt me or remind me when I'm doing my videos. So I just have to, I, I, I write notes down to help me remember because writing helps me remember, but then I don't have access to them. So uh, 
I forget to say things and then I look at them after I do my video and I'm like, oh, I totally forgot to talk about that. And that's usually one of the main points that I want to talk about in the video I forget to talk about. Human, it's called being human. And on live, what you see is what you get. So our uh, 365 day challenge this year is to do one thing every day that centers you, means do one thing every day that centers me. And today it was a, a saying from a French writer about looking up and the importance of looking up. And I really like that because I, when I go for walks, sometimes I'll find myself always looking down and at my feet, primarily so that I don't trip over rocks and things because I've, I've had some klutzy experiences where I have tripped on slippery rocks and sprained my ankle and then had to hobble out of the park. I've done that more than once. So as soon as I catch myself looking down, looking at my feet, not only does that hurt my neck because we spend so much time looking down at our phones and technology and reading and doing other things like that, but I, I forget that when we look up, it's like we open ourselves up to the world and to possibilities. We see what's going on around us and we become a part of that. We're more open to being a part of everything that's happening around us and so I know when I'm feeling glum or a little bit blue or I'm I'm upset or sad about something I remind myself to look up look at the sky look up at the scenery look up at the beauty and the amazing things that are around you and it always makes me feel better so those are our two big challenges right now get up and go challenge just finished off uh, this week Wednesday March uh, 3rd we finish off the sixth get up and go challenge the seventh will begin April 1st, and I should be launching and promoting and doing all kinds of stuff with that, yet I have not, and I'm not going to do anything on it today. I'm absolutely positively admitting I'm doing zero on it today because I get to hang out with my baby granddaughter, and I'm super excited about that. So her parents can go snowboarding because it's almost the end of the snowboarding season here in Wisconsin, if you can believe that. We're having 50-degree days. We had a 50-degree day last week. We're going to be into the 50s and 60s this week. And then, of course, it'll get cold and snow again but that will be after all the ski and snowboard places have shut down. So they want to go with some of their friends today. And I am perfectly happy to hang out and get to know my new granddaughter. So if I can help you anyway, ask. I will get to it ASAP. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. I've got projects I want to work on as well as hanging out with my amazing granddaughter or granddaughters. But uh, today probably won't be the day where I accomplish a lot except thinking about them. Maybe I'll take some notes or get some ideas or or look into something, but for the most part, it will not be a work day. It's gonna be a fun family, personal development uh, relationship day. Have an amazing day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow to let you know what I'm up to now. Take care.